get this smudgies out. What is happening, my Android friends? Welcome to App of the Week. I am David, your Android junkie, over to AndroidSpin.com. And yeah, spring new app of the week. I'm going to be looking at a notification app. I love me and my notifications. Uh, we're going to be looking at Notifier Pro. And uh, of course, nobody's going to send me a notification right now. It never seems to be the case, but we'll go ahead and open it up here. First things first, when you first open Notifier Pro, I actually have the Plus version. I went and bought this one because I really, really like it. One of the things uh, I would do with my ROMs is I would actually hide my status bar. Like when it's on my home screen, I don't have a status bar showing. So what I like about this is I could see my notifications pop up in a way that I choose. So when you first open it up, it'll actually ask you to um, go into your accessibility settings and uh, make sure you uh, have it on. But uh, since I already have it set up, I'll just go through uh, from the beginning here. Uh, this is the check marks to all the notifications I will be getting from all the apps. And it gives you everything, all your apps, so then you could check them off. This is actually very similar to that Locker Pro. It's from the same people that I did a few months ago. Of course, that had to do with more of your uh, lock screen notifications. And right here we got notification settings. And this is where, this is the core of the whole thing right here. First we got theme, I just have a normal black theme, but they got quite a bit. You can have white, which is kind of ugly. Then you got, you know, you got jelly bean right here, which is kind of cool. Then you got semi-transparent, semi-semperent, can't even talk right now, transparency. And then of course, uh, let's keep it on black. Then of course you have more themes in the Play Store that it will redirect you to. And some of them cost money, some of them don't. I don't like to spend money. Who does? Um, you can have your choice to have the contact picture when you receive a text or a G Talk or even your missed call. Uh, time format. It should, when it displays the time, it has it just a normal. I'm not a military. Well, I am an army brat, but you know that's a whole other story. Then we got top position, bottom, center, or below the status bar. I have it on the top. I like it just where it pops up like that. I'll actually show you what it looks like in a minute here. Uh, five second timeout. That means it'll be on the on the on your screen. It'll be on there for about five seconds, and then um, you can even have your choice to have your device wake up, which I like. I kind of like it that I don't have to touch my device to see my message. Privacy mode, just in case you know some uh, you know little naughty message comes through your SMS app you don't want people to see. Well, you could just uh, put that privacy mode, and it'll just notify you and show that there's a message from that special someone. Anyways, reminders, you can also set your reminder too, like if you haven't seen um, your notification yet, it'll, like I have it five times and five minutes in between intervals, yeah, so that's working. Then you can test the banner, and as you can see, it pops up right there. And it'll be on there for five seconds, and then go away. So if you want to, you can, like I said, you can have it on the bottom, test the banner, have it pop up on the bottom if you want, but the only thing that sucks about that is if you're typing something and you get a message from say your gtalk or like gmail and you hit that it's going to take you right to that app kind of a pain so i don't like to have it on the bottom but you can also have it in the center also but that also can be a nuisance you know if you're playing something playing a game and all of a sudden a message just pops up right in the middle of your screen and then you go right to it not too fun so i like to keep it in below the status bar it just pops up below the status bar so it's not much different from the top then we got vibration settings that's if you want to mess with that. I don't. I choose not to. No uh, haptic feedback or no vibration going on in my pants. Anyways, um, sound settings. If you wanted to have all your notifications to um, have one notification sound, you can. But that could just like mess. If you want to have, of course, different notifications. You know, you want to have different sounds for different notifications. That that will prevent that from happening. You don't want that. And then of course, service is active, but if you were to hit that, it says inactive, it takes you right to your accessibility uh, settings, so then you can activate it and make sure you get your notifications. And of course, you have backup, and that's pretty much it. And look, I just got a message from my friend Vanessa. And see how it scrolls across like a ticker? That's pretty cool. I really like that. And we've got advanced settings here. You can have a hide the icon. You just have text only, like just the text messaging um, icon. Um, let's see, lock screen only. Like you can... Let's see, dismiss notifications when, yeah, sorry, some, some of these ones I didn't really, like, take a look at thoroughly, but, um, yeah, if you're in your lock screen, you can actually dismiss it. You can actually swipe the icon or the, the banner that comes up. You can actually swipe it to the side, kind of like how it is in your notification drawer. You could swipe it away to get rid of it. 
Hey, let's see, clickable. Yeah, allow clickable um, lock screen. So that way, if you're still in the lock screen, it pops down. You could hit it, and it'll just open right up. So that's kind of cool too. So yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, Notific. What is it? Notifier Pro. <laughs> Don't even know the app I'm reviewing. I suck. Uh, Notifier Pro. Um, it is. Um, there's a free version, but you you know you're limited with some stuff. So I'd say try the free version first. I forgot exactly how much the paid version is. I think it's only like two bucks or something like that. But it's well worth it. Like I said, I don't like to have a status bar showing up on my home screen. So this is perfect. If I'm, you know, if it's just right there, boom. And even when I'm in an app, you know, it just pops down and I can just go right to it. Good for multitasking and all that fun stuff. Well, all right, guys, hit that like, thumbs up button if you like this video. Make sure you subscribe to the Android Spin channel if you have not already. Well, I am David. You're Android Junkie at AndroidSpin.com, and I got to clip my nails. I should have did that beforehand. Anyways, talk to you guys later.